After Fear Street came out, um, social media definitely changed for me. In April of 2021, I had 4,000 Instagram followers, and now I have around 850,000 Instagram followers, which has been bizarre. I am Olivia Scott Welch, and I am an actress, and I hope someday to work more creatively in the, the whole world of film as a producer and a director and a writer. Ever since I can remember starting to watch movies and you just feel like you wanna like sprint out of the theater and try to run as fast as you can to like go inside that movie and live in that movie and keep playing it in your mind over and over again. I feel like that's constantly the feeling that I'm trying to capture. My dad and mom are very big into movies and love the making of movies. And I'd say my dad is like a movie nerd. So we would always like watch a movie and then watch like the featurettes that came on the DVD. I remember being maybe like four and asking if I could be in movies. I remember I thought that they were real at that young of an age. And then I remember like asking my dad about movies and he was like, no, there are movies and they make them in Hollywood, which is in California. And they were like, you have to really want to do this. You have to really take it seriously as an art. You have to really want to make movies. And I was like, yeah, I really do. If you are an actor, you know that having an Instagram is very important. It's how you get hired. It's how people can learn about you very quickly. It's a very quick way of seeing what your fan base is and if people like you and if people will watch something that you're in. I feel like living in LA is very special because you can kind of see people aspiring to make movies anywhere you go. I love going to movie theaters, to bookstores. I love walking past restaurants and seeing people reading or writing or practicing their sides for auditions. This is a bookstore that is solely dedicated to movies. So there are movie history books and movies about actors and posters. The entirety, part one and two of the Kill Bill script. And I thought this was cool, it's handwritten. This is nice because I'm writing a movie right now and I can come to places like this for research. I love this place. I love LA for this reason. It's a very community type thing. This is crazy. And people who go to places like this are all like-minded. I think movie theaters are super, super magical. It's one of my earliest memories going as the sun is setting in the summertime and going in and it's smelling like popcorn and then you get to like find a seat and it's so dark and cold and, and you get to see a movie that you've never seen before that just transports you to another world. It makes people feel so alive and creative. And that's so cool. It's the experience of going to the movies that makes you keep wanting to make movies. I remember seeing Phantom Thread for the first time a few years ago in theaters. And I like don't think I blinked watching that movie. And I left and was like, wow, I've never felt such a romantic feeling as this to have like left this movie theater and have seen this movie because I was just so glued in the entire time. I've never changed the things that I posted. I've always just posted things that I liked things that I thought were beautiful little moments of the day or outfits that I really loved. I think social media has been such a cool way for me to express my love of fashion, which has been something I've been so passionate about my whole life. It's like taking a little part of something that you love and making it your own. This is a store I've been coming to since I moved to LA. When I'm researching a role or developing a character, I definitely think about the clothing. 
I feel like I was very introverted as a kid. And so the way that I dressed and the things that I like picked up on in movies and in pop culture and like seeing people out on the street, that's how I was able to reflect how I felt inside. So it's such a big part of the character for me and it's fun for like the audition process to find an outfit to even wear for just one audition, you know, and, and get to really be that character for a moment in time. And that's really helped me find myself in different characters that I've played. Because I'm like, oh, well, this is definitely something that I've seen and found in myself. And so I feel more connected to this character. There's that phrase, steal like an artist, which is one of my favorite mantras, I guess. It's cool to like find things that resonate with you from the past, adapt them and bring them into a new light. You can wear a jacket from the 80s and a dress from the 50s. It definitely is a lot of pressure as an actor to show all the different sides of yourself that exist within you and also make sure that it's authentic. You're having to maintain your business and interact with people in a professional way that's still personal. I feel like for me, I've just kept doing the same thing and tried to do things that maintain authenticity to myself. And I think that that resonates with people. I think that like teenagers nowadays are really smart and can recognize like fake very quickly and don't really have the tolerance for it. People within the industry that I really admire will sometimes very briefly reach out to me on social media. Leslie Headland, if you're watching this, you liked one of my Instagram photos one day. I don't know why. You don't know me, but I follow you on Instagram and I love your movies and Bachelorette is one of my favorite movies ever. And it made my day. It might have been an accident even, but that was really cool. It was very cool because that's a director that I really admire. I feel like the more that I've put my personal self out there, those types of projects that I really feel passionate about have started to come my way. I think my favorite acting job that I've ever done was Fear Street because it impacted my life so heavily in ways that I could have never imagined, but it was also such a dream to film. Everyone was so supportive of each other and the cast was so incredible and wonderful. And I feel like it was just truly the most creative space. I learned a lot about being an actor and working with other actors and the true collaboration of an ensemble. Also watching Lee Janiak direct, I learned so much about being a woman in film and being in charge of everything and being able to like truly run a production. And it was just so cool. It was cool to watch everyone set up shots and come up with solutions to problems. So I feel like I was able to really absorb a lot of information that I had always wanted to know about making movies. I love posting behind the scenes stuff because it definitely is for the younger version of myself. And also, cause I, I know that there are kids like me out there right now who are like, just love movies and are so fascinated by movies. The advice I would give to 14 year old Olivia is genuinely keep going and study really hard. Knowledge rewards itself in this business. When you're young and you're working with so many people, I think it's good to have knowledge of movies and making movies and the history of movies. And also like knowledge of the people around you. Get to know everybody on the crew that you're working with because it's a community. It's such a team sport to make a movie. And that creates such an atmosphere of love. If everyone loves movies and is able to talk about movies, it's the best thing you can do to genuinely love everyone around you.